Step into the gritty world of 1,972 Seconds The Getaway, a crime thriller directed by Sam Peckinpah. Starring Steve McQueen and Ollie McGraw, the film follows the tumultuous journey of a recently released convict and his wife as they navigate a web of betrayal, heists, and relentless pursuit. The movie's relentless pace and McQueen's stoic performance draw viewers into a suspenseful narrative that unfolds against the backdrop of the Texas landscape. As the characters grapple with their own moral dilemmas, the film raises questions about the thin line between right and wrong in the pursuit of freedom. Amidst the tension and action, the film prompts reflection on pivotal scenes that resonate with audiences. Is there a particular moment that has left an indelible mark on you? Perhaps it's the gripping bank robbery, the intense car chases, or a subtle exchange that speaks volumes about the character's internal struggles. Now, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the getaway. What scene or aspect of the film has stayed with you over the years? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. And now, let's delve into some random facts about this classic film. Did you know that The Getaway is based on a novel by Jim Thompson, known for his hard-boiled crime fiction? The adaptation brings Thompson's gritty storytelling to life with Peckinpah's signature cinematic style. So, grab your popcorn and join us on this journey into the world of crime, passion, and betrayal in The Getaway. Share your thoughts and memories below and let's celebrate the enduring impact of this cinematic gem. The Getaway, a 1972 action film directed by Sam Peckinpah, revolves around the tumultuous journey of a recently released convict, Doc McCoy, portrayed by Steve McQueen. The narrative kicks into high gear when Doc, along with his wife Carol, played by Ollie McGraw, is coerced into a high-stakes bank heist. As they race against time and adversaries, the couple faces betrayal, shifting allegiances, and intense car chases through the Texan landscape. The film showcases Peckinpah's signature style, characterized by its gritty realism, kinetic violence, and a morally ambiguous portrayal of its characters. McQueen's portrayal of Doc adds depth to the film, making him a compelling antihero. A movie's impact on popular culture lies in its influence on subsequent crime thrillers, exemplifying the fusion of gritty action with a noir sensibility. The Getaway remains an enduring classic, celebrated for its intense storytelling, memorable characters, and Peckinpah's distinctive directorial touch, leaving an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape. Ollie McGraw's dedication to her role in the 1972 film The Getaway went beyond mere acting. In preparation for her character, Carol McCoy, McGraw underwent training to handle firearms and master the art of driving. This commitment to authenticity adds a layer of realism to the film, showcasing McGraw's willingness to immerse herself in the role. Moreover, the behind-the-scenes dynamics of casting provide an intriguing glimpse into the film's production. Director Sam Peckinpah initially had his sights set on Stella Stevens for the role of Carol. However, studio executive Robert Evans intervened, casting Ollie McGraw instead. Little did Evans know that this decision would lead to a real-life drama, as McGraw and co-star Steve McQueen developed a romantic connection during filming, eventually leading to McGraw divorcing Evans and marrying McQueen. As we delve into the film, it's fascinating to consider how the onset dynamics influenced the chemistry between the lead actors. Mac Graw's newfound skills in handling guns and driving cars, coupled with the unexpected real-life romance, add intriguing layers to the narrative. These elements contribute to the overall impact and legacy of The Getaway, making it not just a gripping action film, but a production marked by the convergence of on-screen and off-screen drama. The film's connection to jazz great Toots Thielemans is another noteworthy aspect. Thielemans' evocative harmonica solos, especially in the end titles, bring a unique musical dimension to the movie. The use of his well-known composition blue set in the soundtrack adds a touch of nostalgia and sophistication to the gritty, action-packed atmosphere. In conclusion, The Getaway from 1972 transcends the boundaries of a typical action film, with Ollie McGraw's commitment to realism, the unexpected romance between the lead actors, and the soulful sounds of Toots the Elements. These elements collectively contribute to the enduring legacy of the film, making it a captivating piece of cinematic history. 
The behind-the-scenes power play on the set of The Getaway adds a fascinating layer to its production. Steve McQueen, under his contract with First Artists, wielded Final Cut authority. This decision irked director Sam Peckinpah, who believed McQueen played it safe, choosing takes that showcased his favorable angles. Richard Bright revealed that McQueen's selections focused on pretty boy shots, a move that left Peckinpah dissatisfied. This clash of creative control sheds light on the dynamics that shaped the film, with McQueen's influence impacting the final product. The tension between artistic vision and star authority provides a unique lens through which to analyze the making of The Getaway, offering insights into the complexities that unfolded off-screen. Walter Hill, a seasoned writer in the film industry, singled out The Getaway as his favorite among the films he has penned. The 1972 movie, initially rated PG by the MPAA in the United States, later sparked reconsideration. In hindsight, the board acknowledged an error, suggesting that the film deserved an R rating due to its intense content. Meanwhile, an interesting facet of the production involves Al Lettery, brought to Sam Peckinpah's attention by producer Albert S. Ruddy, then working on The Godfather. Both Peckinpah and Lettery shared a penchant for heavy drinking, leading to on-set challenges caused by the actor's unpredictable behavior. These behind-the-scenes dynamics, from conflicting MPAA ratings to the casting choices influenced by other concurrent projects, add layers to the getaway's narrative. The film's impact goes beyond the screen, echoing in the preferences of industry professionals like Walter Hill, and raising questions about the intersection of creative choices and external influences during its production. Steve McQueen's influence on the getaway extended beyond his on-screen presence. The opening prison scenes, shot by director Sam Peckinpah at the Huntsville Penitentiary, added a gritty realism, with McQueen surrounded by actual convicts. This choice set the tone for the film, immersing the audience in the harsh world of the protagonist, Doc McCoy. McQueen's creative input went further. In a pivotal scene, it was his idea to have his character shoot and blow up a squad car while holding two police officers at gunpoint. This moment of intense action showcased McQueen's commitment to making the getaway a gripping and memorable experience. Behind the scenes, McQueen's journey to bring the getaway to the screen is noteworthy. His encouragement of publicist David W. Foster to become a film producer eventually led to the film's production. Foster, after a failed attempt with Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, acquired the rights to the novel, recognizing in its protagonist the good, bad guy role McQueen was seeking. These insights into the film's creation highlight McQueen's hands-on approach and the collaborative efforts that shaped the getaway. From choosing authentic locations to contributing to key scenes, McQueen's influence is evident throughout, making the 1972 film a true reflection of his vision and commitment to the craft. As the credits roll and the echoes of the getaway's gripping tale linger in the air, take a moment to traverse the corridors of your own cinematic memory. This 1972 masterpiece, a symphony of heist, passion, and redemption, has undoubtedly etched its mark on the canvas of your movie experiences. The getaway is more than a film, it's a gateway to a bygone era, an era where the sting of betrayal and the allure of freedom were palpable in every frame. Whether it's the sultry notes of Quincy Jones' score or the relentless pursuit of Steve McQueen and Ollie McGraw through the sun-soaked landscapes, this film has a way of intertwining with the fabric of our personal narratives. Now, dear reader, viewer, it's your turn to share the spotlight. What resonates with you about The Getaway? Is it the magnetic chemistry between the protagonists or the pulsating rhythm of the narrative? Perhaps there's a scene that has become a permanent fixture in the gallery of your cinematic memories. Your reflections weave the vibrant tapestry of this timeless classic. Let your thoughts flow freely like the unbridled river that carries McQueen and Mac draw to their fateful destination. Share your favorite moments, the scenes that linger in your mind like a well-crafted suspense. Your connection to the getaway is a thread in the rich narrative of film history, and your words add depth to the collective appreciation of this cinematic gem. Thank you for embarking on this journey through the lens of nostalgia and storytelling. Your insights enrich the tapestry of shared experiences, making The Getaway a perennial companion in the cinema of our lives. Until our paths cross again in the world of tales untold, take a bow and savor the echoes of The Getaway that resonate within.